subscribe, like and share. In Dune 2, why fade Rotha Austin Butler is dark and white? The most recent trailer for Dune Section 2 uncovers more about Austin's new miscreant fade Rotha, who shows up in highly contrasting in certain scenes. Blunt Herbert's mammoth book Rise is a sacrosanct text among science fiction fans yet was for quite some time viewed as unfilmable. 198 for E's variation from David Lynch seemed to demonstrate that hypothesis right. However, Denis Villeneuve's rise showed up in 2021 and was a basic and business achievement. The issue with Lynch's Dune was attempting to pack such a legendary tale into one film, so Villeneuve shrewdly picked to part it into two. The forthcoming Dune section to proceeds with the excursion of Timothy Chalamet's Polytrides as he works with the Freeman to look for retribution against House Harkonnen. Dune part to adds to the first's now great troop cast with the option of Florence Pugh. Christopher Walken, Ella Sadu, and Elvis star Austin as Fade Rotha Harkonnen. Fade Rotha is the nephew of aristocrat Harkonnen Stellan Skarsgård and was recently played by Sting in the Lynch form. Rudune 2 is taking a genuine takeoff with Fade Rotha's look from both Herbert's novel and Lynch's film, giving him a more immense appearance that is in accordance with the shaven look of both the noble and Dave Bautista's Glossu Rabin. Quite possibly of the most striking thing about Austin's scenes in Dune Part 2's trailer is that a considerable lot of them occur in unmistakable highly contrasting, which has all the earmarks of being the vibe of GD Prime, the Harkonnen homeworld. These highly contrasting successions show Austin's fade Rotha battling in fighter games on GD Prime, for the amusement of his uncle and the other collected honorability. Indeed, even in these short impressions, its reasonable fate Rotha is a horrible contender. And the highly contrasting look of the planet is logical of visual touch added by Villeneuve to separate GD Prime from Arrakis totally. Dune to likewise prods the climactic fight among Paul and Fade Rotha, which is a significant entry in Herbert's source novel. The person is critical to the nobleman's arrangements for House Harkonnen, as he means his nephew to turn into the leader of Arrakis at some point. In numerous ways, Fade Rotha is a dull mirror to Paul's own excursion, and they are both the consequence of the Bene Gesserit's very long-term reproducing program intended to make the Quisit's Hatterick prediction materialize. As Austin has expressed in interviews depicting his dune to job, to fade Rotha's psyche, he's his own personal legend. The trailer likewise sets up a sentiment among him and Ella Seydoux's woman Margot Fenring, who is sent by the Bene Gesserit to lure and have a kid with him in the expectations they consider the Quisitz Hatterick. Fade Rotha will be a significant add-up dune to, and he's now demonstrating undeniably more threatening than Sting's understanding.